there's an amulet that can give you up to 2,000 life. But amulets can't have life on it. That's technically true, but practically. There's an item from a side quest, and it's the only amulet that can have max life for your character. So if you're lacking in that department survivability-wise, here's the side quest. Up here is Kyovishad. It starts down in Havazar Vision Honey. From the Vision Honey point, you ride all the way to this. And if you actually proceed in the campaign far enough, you know who that lady is we're riding to. I highly recommend doing this quest not only for the Amulet, but also because you're meeting an old friend again. That's so far my favorite character for all the Diablos. Also, stay tuned until the end because there's a sneaky trick how you can upgrade your Amulet to the max, even if it rolls as a rare and can only get upgraded three times. Let me write to your little cap. You! If you hurt her... <laughs> hurt her! I elevated her! The wounds ink into her skin fall away from it. She is a beacon across realms! <laughs> Now let me show you the item in question, what to do with it, and how you can actually turn, if it rolls normal rare, into sacred or ancestral. Because the whole trick with this quest is, do not do this straight away. You should wait until you're a little bit higher level, and with higher level I mean probably 73, because from 73 on, the item can roll 800 plus. I was a little bit unlucky, and I only got the item at a 718 item power. That's okay. Mine rolled with up to 1,500 max life, but it also gives a total of plus 15% damage, and it came with 10% cooldown reduction. These things actually alter apart from the max life from class to class to fit more to what you're playing. This is, for example, the version that was picked up, if I'm not mistaken, by Druid or Barbarian. And as you notice, that one rolled as a 603 rare. Now, that would be a problem because, you know, rare items can't be upgraded five times, right? Well, Rejoice, I have two good news for you. First, as you get this item, do not imprint it straight away to make it a legendary. No, you're going to reroll the stat as a rare. Some of these side quest items and generally also the ultra rares from the elite monsters. Yes, they're extremely cheap to reroll. They cost almost nothing. I mean, this is... Just the material, Forgotten Souls and Veiled Crystals, and it cost me six gold to reroll that. Now, obviously, I made the big mistake to just straight up imprint this, turn into a legendary, and pay huge costs for actually rerolling, but I got the plus 15% max damage. So, what to do now if your item rolls rare instead of sacred or ancestral? Because as a rare, it can only get upgraded three times. And if the item was sacred, it could be actually getting five upgrades in a row. Well, there's good news a little trick. You can take the item, and then you're pulling a ancestral aspect ancestral aspects actually say that so we have sacred legendary aspects legendary aspects and then we have also the ancestral aspects later on so i can take this ancestral legendary aspect and as you see if i now imprint this the legendary pants actually turn from a normal pants let's do this for you to ancestral legendary pants the item power stays but the actual item is now ancestral so we could go back to the smith and upgrade it another two times. Ta-da! Little sneaky trick to get a little bit more out of your equipment. Now go out there, grab your amulet and post some pictures or tell us how your roll went. Also, if you're looking for more tips like this, here's 12 of them. And also the ultimate 1 to 90 summon a necromancer.